all the articles lately or news about what's happening in the Toronto Real Estate Board or in Canada is talking about how prices are dropping. Well, BlogTO came out with this article and it says that experts say that Toronto housing prices will likely climb even more in 2023. So what exactly is happening? What does this article say? Before we go any further, I'm David Cinelli. I'm a realtor uh, in the Toronto area with Royal LePage. If you like this content, please like, follow, subscribe, you know, send me a DM if you want me to talk about any other articles. Inflated prices are set to decline in 2023, but don't expect Toronto and the GTA to be part of that decline. The housing market here in Ontario has had a decline in sales recently. This past September, for example, was the least amount of sales we've had for a September in over 20 years. Most of this lack of sales was attributed to the rising interest rates. The article then states that the greater Toronto housing market is expected to regain balance in 2023, albeit the low inventory continuing to place upper pressure on prices. Basically what it's stating is that the lack of inventory we have here in the GTA will force prices to continue to go up in 2023. A lot of the GTA's market strength lies in the luxury residential sub-market in areas such as Oakville. These areas are showing a resilience to both inflation and the ongoing threat of a recession. This market is still showing a great demand for homes and with the lack of inventory, experts are expecting a 2% increase in prices this fall. We still have a supply issue here in Ontario, but interest rate hikes has given us softer sales recently, and it has given buyers a little bit of a break from the crazy demand as well as the unsustainable prices we saw in 2021 and early 2022. However, Christopher Alexander, who is the president of Remax, believes that the current state that we're in right now with these soft sales is only temporary. And unless supply increases, we are gonna to continue to see these cycles of boom and bust. But what are your thoughts? Are you thinking of buying in this market or are you holding off to see where the prices are gonna go?